welcome to this week's edition of Monday Morning Coffee with Christine. Read, watch, listen. Filming here once again at Pop 54 Art Gallery. Thank you so much, Chris, for having us here. So my read for this week is called Heaven Has No Regrets by Tessa Schaefer, a first time writer. I was very privileged to have been on a writing cruise with her in Alaska and got to meet her there and we touched base after and I got her book and didn't read it for a while, just read it, read it recently, blew me away. The courage that she had to share the story that she had to tell is just beautiful. She so beautifully illustrates what life is like for a child when their parents are divorced and they have to try to navigate two completely different families with two completely different expectations. She does that really well, but that's not even the best part. She also beautifully illustrates addiction and just basically what it's like to live being an adolescent these days and trying to navigate those rocky waters. I was blown away, couldn't put it down, read it beginning to end without stopping and was really impressed by this young lady's first writing effort. You can also find out more about her at heavenhasnoregrets.com and that's Tessa Schaefer. Thanks, Tessa. And now for my recommendation for a movie. I'm going way back, not way back, but a little bit back to 1993, Heart and Souls. Come on, a more perfect movie has never been made. Yep, 1993, that's when my daughter was born. Maybe that's why she watched it a hundred times. I don't know, probably just because it's a really great movie. It's Robert Downey Jr. at his best with an amazing all-star cast. Charles Grodin, Kira Sedgwick, Alfred Woodard and Tom Sizemore, you have never seen a better cast movie. What I loved about it and the reason that I ever even introduced it to my kids is because it's just a lighthearted yet deep conversation about one possibility of what might happen when we die. Everybody has their own opinion and likes to act like it's the only one, but none of us really know. And this is a really cute story about some angels who kind of just can't really make their way to the other side and they wreak havoc on this young man, Robert Downey Jr. and his girlfriend, Elizabeth Shue. Brilliant story, loved every minute of it. You could watch it as a family, it could be a date night. Definitely, if you haven't seen it yet, watch Heart and Souls. Now for my recommendation for a song. As you all know, I love discovering new music. Totally lights me up. My sister Diana kept saying, you gotta listen to this song, you gotta listen to this song. Getting Ready to Get Down by Josh Ritter. I've never heard of Josh Ritter, never heard of this song. Finally listened to it. Wow, I love lyrics. I love lyrics that tell a story. I love those fast paced lyrics that have so many words packed in. You don't even really know what they say, not because they don't enunciate, it's just way too much information, which is really great storytelling too. I love this song, love the message. In fact, I haven't listened to it, but she says the entire album, which is called Sermon on the Rocks, is absolutely worth a listen, but definitely getting ready to get down by Josh Ritter. And that's it. So check them all out. The read, Heaven Has No Regrets by Tessa Schaefer. The film, Heart and Souls. And the listen, Getting Ready to Get Down by Josh Ritter. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next week.